Geo cross-functional flowchart diagram is extremely useful, but it does have some limitations. Here I've got multiple functions and multiple phases. For a, a function, it's lane, swim lane, it's quite easy to grab hold of an edge and as you can see, resize it. If you want to put more stuff in there, you can even move the function lanes around like so, and I can undo it. So you would expect a similar functionality maybe with the phases. So if I uh, wanted to, I can resize a, a phase. Whoop, uh, slightly more difficult, there you go. I'm resizing the phase like so. And I might then expect I could take maybe phase C and put it there, but as you can see, I can't move it because the shape prevention stops me from doing that. What is the answer? Well, I think the uh, only answer really is to add in a separate phase. So let's say I wanted to move phases B and D around. Um, what what can I do? Well, what I would probably attempt to do is just move in and add another separator in there. So I've now got an an empty phase in here. I can then move things into there, like these ones and push those over there and be careful not to um, break into any of the, the lines, as you can see. I can now take everything that was in phase D and move it over to that side. Of course, now that phase D there can be deleted and uh, we've now moved them around. And this one here, you notice I can't move them to the left unless I move that decision tree over and then I can grab hold of that when the cursor changes, as you can see, and move that back. So I've now successfully relocated the phases uh, and by doing a movement of, there you go, I just move that so it looks a bit prettier, by just adding in some empty phases and moving the contents over.